Bullying means a lot to me because for the fact that I didn't speak English, like people used to make fun of me, you know, like and say like speak English when I really couldn't. So, you know, like it means a lot to me. When I came from the from the art, um I got here to high school, right? So there was a girl. Like she discriminated me because I didn't speak English. So she called me names and said like, oh, I'm gonna beat you up and stuff like that, you know. Discrimination, racism, fair. I learned English and I decided that I'm not gonna let anybody come, you know, against me because I have to be strong. Yes, because um, kids that bully and other kids, um, they feel more comfortable doing it because, you know, they're racist, just like him. I felt really scared because I was coming to an unknown place. I didn't know anybody, I didn't have friends. I left all my family over there, so I was really scared. And the fact that um, bullying affected was um, really disturbing. It was actually worse. Get out of here, get out, 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 out. I was trying to, I was talking to my Spanish teacher. She was actually Dominican. And um, I was speaking to her in Spanish because we both speak Spanish. So this girl, the one that was bullying me, she came and said, "Oh, you gotta speak English because I don't know, I, I don't understand." My teachers helped me a lot because I ha I asked I asked for help. I don't think the Trump effect is real. If it is real. The way that we stop it is is through education because uh, usually when people have uh, negative views on certain class of people is because of ignorance. If you feel somebody is bothering you, they bullying you, just speak up. Just touch your teachers, like God is counselor, your parents, anybody you think that they can help you do it because like an adult can make like more than what you can do just like keeping it silent just keeping it to yourself just speak up and do what you gotta do stay strong